Welcome back to this edition of On Every Front, showcasing our citizen soldiers and airmen as they answer our nation's call to duty. I'm your host, Army National Guard Staff Sergeant Adam Fishman. Billions of lines of code, massive server farms, and cloud-based assets that maintain how we operate on a daily basis must be protected. A lack of cyber awareness or a hacked transaction can imminently affect our way of life, including our national security. This is one of the many reasons U.S. Cyber Command exists, and all of the armed services play a key role. Leading the Army's effort is Army Cyber Command, and National Guard cyber protection teams will be a critical component in strengthening our national defense against cyber threats. U.S. Cyber Command was formed uh, by the Department of Defense as a sub-unified command for strategic command. And then each of the services were asked to create a service component command underneath it. So Army Cyber Command is the service component command for U.S. Cyber Command. So I work for U.S. Cyber Command. Okay. I'm Lieutenant General Ed Cardone. I'm the commander of U.S. Army Cyber Command and Second Army. The Army approaches everything in a total force concept, so it's active and reserve component. So as part of the effort here to stand up the forces as part of Army Cyber Command, the National Guard plays a role in filling the spaces for Army Cyber. I think it's important for the Guard, first this is a race for, for talent, and there's enormous talent brought in the Guard and Reserve, plus the Army National Guard is distributed across the 54 states and territories of the United States. That adds another unique component. So when you take what the National Guard brings and you combine it with Army Cyber Command, it just gives us uh, a sum that's greater than one plus one equals two. If the military exists to defend the nation, then clearly cyberspace is increasingly recognized as a domain, and we in the military recognize it as a domain. So if you have a land domain, an air domain, a sea domain, a space domain, and now a cyber domain, then there's a military component to it, and that's why the military is involved in cyberspace operations. The military right now uh, protects all of the military networks and can do other missions when directed by national command authorities. Uh, but the Guard also has uh, interface with not only the Army, but with the states. And so cyber isn't restricted by state boundaries or national boundaries. It has its own logic layer. And so a weakness in one area affects everyone. So everyone's involved. Everyone's part of cyber, whether you want to be or not. The most important thing in cyber is people. And people, uh, it's because the technology moves so fast. Uh, as a result, because of the unique skill sets that some of the National Guard have in their civilian capacity, we need to have access to that for the military. So I see a perfect match between the active Army, the National Guard, and the Army Reserve to bring the best people to this space to solve the problems that will need to be solved. Remaining at the forefront of technology is vital in safeguarding our national security. The source of strength and capability behind it all is the diverse partnership between the military components and U.S. Cyber Command. As a core key objective, your National Guard is committed to protecting the homeland, fighting America's wars, and continuing to build global and domestic partnerships. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes, and thanks again for watching this edition of On Every Front. Whether at home or abroad, your National Guard is everywhere America needs us to be. Always ready, always there.